Hi everyone, it's Dutch Reefer here and welcome to this latest Focus Friday video. A couple of updates before we get started. Uh, I want to mention that I uh, replaced the gimbal that I'm using. I was uh, using a Chinese brand before and I've upgraded it to a DJI Mobile 2. So it should deliver somewhat smoother images. And uh, because unfortunately my phone broke, I um, upgraded to a Galaxy S9. So you will probably notice that the, the, the colors of the video are somewhat different than the previous videos. Um, that's mainly due to the camera module being a little different. So uh, this will be my to-go phone and recording device from now on. So, uh, well, you can get used to uh, these kind of colors. So today we're going to cover a subject that is Gorgonians. Gorgonians are a type of coral. Um, a type of coral that I uh, like a lot uh, since I like uh, to see things moving around in my reef tank and Gorgonians are um, a very diverse species of corals which are mostly easy to keep and I'll tell you more about that in a few minutes and they're uh, well generally widely available and if you look for them enough you will find a lot of different species, colors, um, so that's why it's a nice uh, coral to uh, uh, to collect. Um, so yeah, let's get started off. Um, before I'm going to show you in more detail uh, the, the Gorgonians that I have in my tank, um, there are two, mainly two different kind of Gorgonians that you can, uh, can buy. Uh, the photosynthetic ones, which are more uh, kind of a soft coral, and the non-photosynthetic uh, gorgonians, which rely mainly on uh, food that's in the water. Uh, they don't grow or, well, almost don't grow using light. And, um, well, they might even be damaged by too much light. So, as you can imagine, the photosynthetic uh, gorgonians are fairly easy to keep. And the non-photosynthetic uh, uh, gorgonians require a lot of attention a lot of dedication and, uh, well, generally more uh, harder to keep and more likely to uh, to die. So, um, let's get started. Well, as you are probably aware, uh, this yellow Gorgonian uh, has been in my tank for quite a while now. Uh, this is uh, the one Gorgonian that I have which is non-photosynthetic, or at least uh, not very photosynthetic. I'm not entirely sure if it does rely on light or not at all. Uh, one thing I know is that it's uh, when I start feeding, then it starts expanding its polyps. So it's mainly feeding on uh, on the particles of this uh, mastic which I've put in my tank. So once I put this in, then about 30 minutes to an hour later, the polyps will start uh, expanding, extending. So I'm fairly sure that this one relies purely on food to grow and to stay alive even then as you can see it's uh, at some spots the tissue is receding there's some algae growing on it which of course the fish will uh, will get rid of but still fairly hard but then again i've had it for several months already i think maybe even seven eight months and it's doing great or at least it's doing well enough to keep it alive so this is a um, I'd say uh, from the hard to keep Gorgonians, which are non-photosynthetic, this is one of the easier ones. Uh, there are also much harder ones, for example, the very bright purple ones, um, or uh, as you might know, the spider sponge, which is actually a Gorgonian mixed with the sponge, which is very hard to keep. And uh, yeah, so I can, I, this, this is the first that I will go in uh, keeping a Gorgonian. So. A quick zoom in as you can see very beautiful yellow polyps uh, and yet yeah, stands out very nicely in the, in the entire tank so I will try to keep it alive for as long as possible <clears throat> so then moving on to the uh, photosynthetic um, gorgonians well this one I just bought yesterday um, this is a very in my opinion very beautiful uh, photosynthetic uh, gorgonian as you can see when you zoom in uh, the base uh, is bright purple and the uh, polyps are uh, white so that gives a very nice contrast in your tank. So 
So very happy that I found this one. Especially the size, which makes it even more impressive. It extends all the way from the bottom to the tank to almost to the top. So very happy with that. Um, if you're looking for it, the the scientific name ends with Elisabethae. So if you Elisabethi, I think if you type that into Google, Gorgonian Elisabethi, then you will uh, find this one. So not hard to keep. Uh, it will uh, use the light in your tank to uh, to feed or to grow and to uh, to propagate. And it might also use the particles in your tank, of course, but uh, mainly using uh, the light. So moving on to the next one, which is uh, right here at the top. I'll zoom in a bit because it might get lost if you don't uh, pay attention to it. It's not that big. It's actually a small frag, which I bought months ago, um, which uh, started to grow uh, quite nicely, but still it's pretty small. It's a, a Gorgonian which is uh, brown, uh, but it has very nice visible uh, polyps which are extending all the way out. So that makes it uh, that makes it a very uh, lively coral to see in your tank. Although the coral is not that uh, the color is not that inspiring, I do like the fact that it has very detailed polyps. And I'm not sure what to call this one in. Uh, in uh, scientific name terms but just look for gorgonians with a thick branch and then you'll probably find it then moving on there's this one which i got recently from a, a fellow reefer uh, leo so thank you very much leo if you're hearing this uh, very grateful for it it is a frag that he made from his uh, very large colony you can see it's also brown and it has very small polyps that are extending not very much but still the branches are pretty flexible so it's moving around quite a bit and then there's this purple feather gorgonian which is uh, also a purple one just like the the one i showed you before but then it's uh, the polyps are brown instead of white and they're somewhat more visible somewhat more somewhat larger as well so the purple base is not shown that much as with the elizabethy but then again still i like this uh, gorgonian a lot since it's pretty uh, yeah the the polyps make it a pretty dense coral but still um, moving around quite a bit in the current of the tank so it's definitely an eye catcher and this one I've had for about a year I think maybe somewhat more as you can see from the base all new um, branches are sprouting so I can frag this one easily within a few months and then uh, make some other reefers happy as well with a branch of this uh, coral so as you can see from this base about five to six new branches are erupting so very happy to see, very cool to see that this coral is doing so well. Just so look, just like the, the three I showed you before, this one is also photosynthetic, so easy to keep. And uh, yeah, very fun to watch. So those are the five different Gorgonians that, I'm, that I have in my tank. Um, I hope you, uh, you learned something from this video. I hope you, I inspired you to, uh, to look into Gorgonians or to even buy one for your tank. Like I mentioned, if you go for the photosynthetic ones, just buy, uh, just look at your, uh, in your LFS. You can, if you're not sure, you can ask them there if they are photosynthetic or if they can give you the name that you can look it up. Um, and yeah, so from experience I can tell you if they're not photosynthetic they're hard to keep like the yellow one I showed you in the in the start of the video um, and of course you can try for yourself if you want to you can try them but well um, I've tried a couple before and I've seen them uh, die off pretty quickly so uh, well that's it for this week see you next time bye bye